Couple more minutes before we get started, so go ahead and grab your mat. Maybe a block if you have one. Um, and a strap, some water, whatever you use for your yoga. Today we're gonna be doing a little bit more on twist, so I'm gonna set my mat up, get us ready and going. Um, but again, a couple more minutes and we will get started. How you guys doing? Sorry, <laughs> setting that up. I think that'll work. That'll be good. <sighs> Again, if you're just joining, about another minute and we will get going. Uh, so, any flow today? A uh, few more added twists. If you happen to have anything like a block, um, it doesn't have to be, of course, the props are always. An option, I am aware that we might not have yoga blocks in our homes. Um, or even a chair, when we get to some of the other twists, somewhere we can kind of have a little bit more balance, maybe have a little bit more reach. I even always say, maybe a few water bottle too. Just for a little bit more height. If you don't, it is all right. I'll talk you through um, what we can do as we go. And remember, as always, you're in your space, you're in your home, you need a child's pose, you take it, you need a break, you take a moment, uh, water towel when you need. All right. I believe it is time. Awesome, it is 3.30. So let's go ahead and get going. All right. Vinyasa Flow with Nicholas. Welcome to the Breakout Studios online classes. Um, what day is it? It is Monday. Whew. First Monday of the month. All right, we're going to start in our child's pose today. So, once you're set, no rush. Go and bring your toes together. And once you take those arms forward, feel free to take the knees a little wider just to allow the ribs to drop through. You can bring your head down towards the mat. Even if you want to bring your hands underneath the forehead to help just kind of support. Just get a little bit of release through the hips. And just some opening breath here. So I'm taking a moment as we settle into our child's pose. Now I'm going to bring myself upright so I can talk to you as we're in child's pose here. But take a moment, sending those hips back, and just set in your breath. As we head into our Monday practice today, Kind of checking how the body's feeling. I know it's kind of heating up out there even more. So checking how your energy level is. Knowing that we're heading into a few more extra twists today. Just gauge how is your back. Any support through the center that we can really start to create. As your breath continues to get a little bit deeper, allowing that breath to travel into the side ribs, into the back, into the chest, into the belly. And as you exhale, just gently pressing the air back out, gently drawing the belly 
back in towards the spine. And however you're breathing, through the nose, through the mouth, just becoming present, aware in your space, on your mouth. And take a nice, comfortable inhale. Nice, comfortable exhale. And let's take three big rounds of breath together. Deep inhale. And release. And again, two more. Deep breath in. And release. One more deep breath in. And letting all the air go. Now see, still in your child's pose, see if you can allow the breath to just travel in and out of your nose. So gently pressing your lips together, allowing the breath to flow in and out of the nose to slow it down just a bit more. Soften through your jaw. Allow your tongue to flow comfortably in your mouth. One more round of breath here. And then gently take your time, your next inhale. Slowly lifting your head, go ahead and gently walk your hands up, and go ahead and softly open up your eyes. Taking a moment as we shift forward into all fours, as you set up wrist over, or excuse me, wrist under your shoulders. Take a moment, feel free to stretch out one leg, knees. And then from here, go ahead and take your left arm, bringing your hips right over your knees, soften your shoulders from your ears, draw the belly in, go ahead and take your left arm, nice big reach up, and then as you exhale, go ahead and thread your arm all the way down towards the mat, allow your head to drop down. Now, no pain through your neck. As you find this twist, draw that right shoulder away from your ear, maybe even take that right arm, reach up. Go a little bit deeper, reaching for that left thigh. Just a little bit deeper into that twist. Soften through your shoulders. Take another inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And then gently pressing your right hand down. One more time, go ahead and take that left arm. Nice big stretch up towards the sky. And then go ahead and release, switching sides. Go ahead and take your right arm. Take a nice big reach up towards the ceiling. And then threading your arm all the way underneath, allowing the shoulder, the head to gently drop down. Now, no pain through the neck, jaw is soft. You want to keep some space here so the shoulders aren't falling up and the ears are lifted. Maybe this left arm reaches up, maybe around. Just taking a few more breaths here. One more round. As you exhale, gently place your left palm down into the mat. Gently press and bring yourself back. Now, pausing here, I want you to spread those fingers onto the mat. I want you to bring your knees a little bit closer together. Maybe the knees even touch. Tuck all ten of your toes. Now, keep your shoulders over your wrist. Draw your belly in towards your spine. As you exhale, it's going to give you just a little hover of the knees off the mat. Now, pausing here for a moment. I'd love to do this one just to start to get that heat to be created through our core, through our center, as you draw that belly in, as you soften those ribs, as you lengthen the spine, keeping the jaw soft, but then working through heat, working through that center, take one more inhale, and as you exhale, gently release. Soften through the shoulders, soften through the neck, notice if anything got tight through the jaw. Not about stress in our body in yoga. Soften, now from here, engage through the core. Knees might be touching. If they are, great. As you exhale, go ahead and give them a little lift. Now this time, can we add on to this? Can you take an inhale? As you exhale, can you take your knees over towards the left side of your mat? Just a little rotation. Keep reaching your heart forward, rotating through that spine. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, can you switch to the other direction? Pausing here for a moment, start to fire up your obliques. Take one more inhale. Bring it right back down to center. As you exhale, gently release. Now, how did that feel? As we added the twist, did you start to get any tension into the shoulders? Again, into the neck, can you draw down? Now, if the twist is too much, feel free to just lift those knees, hover. If the twist feels okay, let's go for it one more time. As you exhale, hover the knees. Is this enough? Do you need to stay here, or is it okay to exhale? Knees to the left, pause. Broad through the collarbones, take another inhale. 
Exhale, take it to the right. Now can you keep going? Take an inhale. Can you take it one more time to the left? Pause, take an inhale. And exhale, take it back to the right. Take an inhale. Exhale, center, and gently release the knees. And pause, take a moment here, go ahead and shift those hips back. Take a child's pose. Feel free to keep the toes tucked, just pull the hips back a little bit more, lengthen to the spine, a little reach, and stretch into the lats. And then as you inhale, shift yourself back up. Now keep your hands a little bit more in front of the shoulders. Spread your fingers, plant your palms, and as you exhale, go ahead and send those hips up and walk those feet out. From here, any pattern, any movement that might feel nice, go ahead and let the neck release, let the jaw soften. Your first downward facing dog. And take some time. Press the right heel down, then the left knee. And then maybe you switch left heel down. Right knee, even if your heels don't make it all the way to the mat, that is fine. Go where you can find some more length through the back of your leg. Bring it back to center. Pause me about hips width. Now drawing your inner thighs back, lift the shoulder blades up away from the ears. Now I always look forward, but remember in down dog, let your head release, let the head hang. I try to lift my head so I can speak towards the camera. But as you inhale, Shift forward, bring your shoulders right over your wrist and pause. Belly lifted towards the spine, shoulders soft away from your ears. Now engage through that core again. Rather than letting the hips release, draw the hips up at any time. Modify, adjust, bring knees to the mat. Take another inhale. Exhale, hips up and back. And again, inhale. Exhale, hips up and back. One more round here, inhale. And exhale, downward facing dog. Now pause, maybe the feet come a little bit closer together. Then you take your right foot, hover it just about parallel with the mat. So try not to open the hip, keep the pelvis square, draw the belly in, shoulder legs lifted. Now as you inhale, can you move into a three-legged plank? Shifting the heart forward now, a little bit more heat through that left quad, a little bit more power through the core. Take an inhale. Exhale, back to the leg up. Two more, inhale forward. And exhale back. One more. Inhale forward. Pausing at the top. Shoulders soft. As you exhale, can you bring the knee forward? Step your foot all the way between your hands. Feel free to grab that foot and then go ahead and drop your left knee all the way to the mat. Take those hands. Go ahead and start to walk them up your thighs. Send the tailbone down. Lift the hip bones up. Draw those shoulders away from ears. And then go ahead and take those arms. Load them up and overhead. Belly stays lifted. Tailbone drawing down. Just starting to open up those hips. Can you take hold of that left wrist? A little reach over towards the right side of your mat. Shoulders stay soft. Taking two more rounds here. One more inhale. And broaden on the chest. Now just working through the core. As you exhale, can you rotate all the way to the right? Reach the right arm back, the left arm forward. Shoulders soft, collar going broad. Take one more inhale here. As you exhale, take that left hand all the way down to the mat. Take your right arm all the way up. Nice, simple twist. As we add the arms to get deeper into our twist, our rotation, don't let the shoulders creep up and don't release through the core. Can you draw that belly in even more? Maybe the back toes tuck. Maybe the back knee lifts off the mat. One more inhale. And then as you exhale, release. Pause, plant your palms. Step back, downward facing dog. Take a nice deep inhale. Out your mouth, let it go. Now bring your toes just a little bit closer together at the back of the mat. Maybe they touch. Inhale, left leg floats up. Now only needs to go about parallel with the mat, so not too high. As you inhale, shift forward into your three-legged plank. Whoo, belly lifted. Now even here, if you bring a knee down, you bring a knee down. Taking one more inhale. Exhale up and back, down dog. And again, inhale forward. And exhale back. One more, inhale forward, pausing at the top. Feel that right quad, right thigh engaged. Draw that left knee towards the nose. Step your foot between your hands. Right knee all the way down to the mat. Feel free to grab, adjust, and then gently press. Lift through the belly, send your tailbone down, soften your shoulders, and then feel free to float those arms up and overhead. Now wrapping triceps forward, draw the belly into it. Now get a little bit more length into that right waist, right side of your body. Take hold of your right wrist, reach it up to the sky. As you exhale, take it over towards the left. Now drawing those shoulders down, a nice big reach towards 
the side of your mat. One more inhale. And exhale. Inhale, brings you back to center. Pause. Extend. Broaden. Reach for both sides of your room as you exhale. Twist to the left again. Now again, fire through that core. That's what we're trying to work up here. Using the center to twist, take one more inhale here. As you exhale, right hand to the mat. Set your left arm up. Now as you use the arm, we're not forgetting about everything else. I'm still engaged, still lifted. Maybe the back toes tuck. Maybe the back knee lifts. But as you add that back leg, make it work. Send that inner thigh up. Keep the belly drawn in. Take one more inhale. And as you exhale, release, plant your palm, pause. Press the hand into the mat. Inhale, send that heart forward. As you exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Out your mouth, let it go. Inhale. Come forward into your plank. Now, both legs on the mat. Your choice, knees up or down. Hug the elbows in towards the side ribs as you lower all the way onto your belly through Chaturanga. Now, hands right next to ribs, elbows reaching up. As you inhale, nice and low, as if you're trying to slide that mat back. Draw those shoulders away from the ears. Reach your tail towards your heels. Now, a broad into the collarbones. Not stress, not tension in the neck. Lengthen the neck. One more inhale. Exhale, gently lower. Now remember, there's a difference between the length and then just the overarched pinching. So as you inhale, we're not trying to get into this pose here. Keep the gaze slightly forward. Keep that neck a little bit longer. As you exhale, gently release. One more. Inhale, reach. Maybe a little bit more press into the arms. Tuck your back toes and lift the hips up and back. Ten toes tuck. Draw the shoulder blades up. One more round here. Inhale, come forward. Knees up or down. Exhale, chaturanga, working our way through our first rounds of vinyasa. Inhale, send the heart up, shoulders nice and soft. Pressure into the hands, evenly pressing. Exhale, hips up and back as that neck releases. One more round of vinyasa here. As you inhale, reach forward. Now remember, don't always do this with knees to the mat. As you exhale, lower down. As you inhale, it can stay low. And then as you exhale, if you ever need, press back on the knees, then tuck your toes. Then send the hips up and back. So a few different options, and of course, up dog is always available. We'll get to it in the next couple of rounds. I'm going to take your gaze forward, come up high onto your toes. As you exhale, nice deep bend, press the hips back, maybe the ribs just gently rest on those thighs. And then as you exhale, go ahead and stay and walk the feet forward. I'm gonna come dead off of this camera. Feet a little bit hip width, maybe a little wider if that feels more comfortable, and just let the head release. Now, gentle nod, yes. Gentle shake, no. Any tension, any Monday stress in the jaw and the neck, let it go. Now keep a nice, comfortable bend in the knees. Take your left hand, bring it down to the mat. Now, from here, take your right hand, bring it up to your hip. Slowly begin to lengthen that right leg towards, right? And then from here, begin to reach the right arm up to the sky. If that's too much, keep this right hand on the hip. Otherwise, send that hand out, soften shoulders away from ears. So it's this length and this pull forward as you rotate. Take one more hand. And then as you exhale, gently release, bend both knees, switch sides. Right hand down to the mat, left hand to hip, begin to lengthen your left leg. And feel free to bend that right knee as much as you need. And then when you're ready, maybe you continue taking that left arm all the way up towards the sky. A little rotation, a little twist. Mm. One more inhale here. Exhale, gently release the soft bend through both knees. Whew. Hands on your mat, hands on your shins, you decide. I always recommend, again, especially at the beginning, just let the leg stretch, soft bend. As you inhale, halfway shoulders away from ears, belly to spine. Exhale, full. And two more. Inhale, reach the heart forward. Exhale, full. Now one more here. Inhale, now I want you to pause with this long spine, belly drawn in. You're gonna take your hands to hips, elbows up in, and bring it all the way up to stand. Woo, tailbone reaches down, belly lifts up. All right, let's take it through a little flow here. Just moving through a couple of vinyasas before we get into those crescent poses. Feel free to press toes all the way together. As you inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead. And as you exhale, dive forward. Inhale, press it into your shins. Reach the heart forward, shoulders away from ears. Plant your palms. Step back in your plank pose. 
Now as we move through vinyasa, take the variation that works best for you. Remember you can drop the knees to the mat, you can keep the cobra low, you can press back onto your knees, whichever variation suits your body the best. Shoulder blades lifted, jaw is soft, neck is released. As you inhale, take your gaze forward, look at the top of your mat. As you exhale, bend your knees. Now this time, can you take a little spring to the top? Big toes touch. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Arms overhead, stay And exhale, hands to heart. Two more rounds, just like that. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, dive. Inhale, draw the belly in. Lengthen through your spine. As you exhale, punch your palm. Step one foot. Step the other foot, knees up or down and lower. Now some of us might practice an upward facing dog so the hips don't reach onto the mat. We keep that heart lifted. And then as you exhale, hips up and back. Three, shoulder blades lift, coming high onto your toes, look forward. As you exhale, bend your knees. Nice like step or spring hop to the top. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Arms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart, neck in the breath. One more round. Inhale, reach. Exhale, dive. Inhale, halfway. Flat your palms. Step, if you want to practice a hop, you can even jump right back into that chaturanga. From there, as you inhale, take that up top. Ardva Mukha. Soften the shoulders and then shift it back. Ardva Mukha Svanasana. Reach nose and your thighs back. Draw the shoulder blades up. Take a nice deep inhale. Out your mouth, let it go. Three rounds. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, come forward, knee to nose. Inhale back. And two more. Exhale forward. Inhale back. One more. Exhale forward. Pause at the top. Go ahead and step your foot all the way between your hands. Crescent pose, soft bend through the back knee. As you inhale, sweep the arms up. Woo. Wrap those triceps forward. Good. Now with that exhale, lift that belly, lift the tailbone down, soften through the shoulders. Find that nice lift through the chest. Now, can you sink the hips just a little bit deeper? Yes. Yeah. Can you power the back leg just a little bit more? Now from here, take your hands to your heart, back heel, all the way down to the mat. Back leg is straight. Now you can walk your front foot in a little bit more to the left side. Heel to the left arm back. Now as you draw that belly in, go ahead and press the palms down, lift the heart up. Softening through the shoulders, length through the waist. Breathe, our first warrior two. Ground yourself into the legs, into your space. One more inhale here. And then as you exhale, I want you to put it back to a lunge. Now pause here, pause in your lunge. You can walk your right foot back out to the side. Back heel lifts. Send your heart forward as you inhale. As you exhale, can you send the hips up? Maybe a little flex to the front foot. Inhale, reach. And again. Two more, inhale, reach. And up. One more inhale, reach. And up. Planting your palms, now yogi's choice. The vinyasa keep adding heat. You decide what you're looking for for your practice. Child's pose, down dog, or lower through the vinyasa. Continue to take the flow. Broaden and shift up and back. Resetting your down dog, planting. Palms lifting the shoulder blades away from ears, inner thighs reaching back as you inhale, left leg to the sky. As you exhale, come forward, knee to nose. And inhale back. And again, exhale forward. And back. And one more, exhale forward, pause at the top, stepping your foot between your hands. Now go ahead and come onto your fingertips again. Draw your shoulders away from your ears. Soft bend through your back knee. As you inhale, sweep the arms up. Now find a nice big lift. Belly drawn in, tailbone reaching down. Any tension, soften it out, out of the shoulders, out of the jaw. Taking one more inhale here. Hands to heart, drop your back heel all the way to the floor. Back leg straight, walk your front foot in just. Press the palms down. Keep elongating through both sides of the waist. Keep reaching the heart up. Keep pressing the palms down and soften through the shoulders. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, gently release. Now pause. Take your left foot, walk it back to the side, just to open up the stance, just a bit. Now inhale, reach your heart forward. Exhale, hips up and back. And again, inhale. And exhale. And again, inhale. And exhale. One more, inhale. And exhale. 
planting your palms, setting the feet back, either straight to down dog, child's pose, or take your vinyasa. A step when you need, a bow when you need. Exhale, hips up and back. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Out your mouth, let it go. Starting with the three rounds just to really fire up our core. If the three rounds at the beginning with knee to chest, knee to nose, wherever it's going, is too much, skip it and just go straight to the lunge. So when you're ready, right leg to the sky, this time stay right knee to right shoulder. As you exhale, shift forward. Inhale back. And two more. Exhale forward. And back. One more. Exhale forward. Pausing here at the top. Belly drawn in. Can you bring your knee to your nose? Step your foot all the way between your hands. Now, same setup. Come onto the fingertips. Send your heart forward. Draw your shoulders away from ears. Inhale. Sweep your arms. Lengthen. Drawing that belly in. Take your arms out to the side. Now, can you keep sinking those hips a little bit deeper? Can you keep broadening along the collarbones? As you exhale, take your twist all the way to the right side. Whoo! Hugging that right hip back, reach out the right arm. Now, at any time, you could modify by bringing that back knee all the way down to the mat. Take another inhale. And exhale. Walk you all the way up on leg. Take that reach down, looking forward. As you exhale, gently reach your hands down towards the top of your mat. Soft bend through your back knee. Step all the way to the top. Big toes together. Inhale, reach your heart forward. Get length through your spine. Exhale to fold. Now bend your knees, hands apart. Chair pose, shift those hips back. Draw the belly in. Soften shoulders from the air. Nice, now pausing here. Can you shift the hips back a little bit more? Can you draw in just the left arm, your left tricep, all the way across your right thigh. Gently pressing and rotate to the right. Hug the left back, keep sending the heart forward. Two more rounds of breath here. Inhale, find a little bit more length. And exhale, twist. One more round here. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Bring it all the way back to center. Pause. I know the legs are talking. Round yourself. Set the breath. Exhale, gently release. Inhale, halfway. Your choice, vinyasa or straight back to downward. Inhale, as you find that reach. And exhale, hips up and back. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Out your mouth, let it go. Soften through your jaw. Soften through your neck. Now remember three rounds to start. When you're ready, second side. Inhale, left leg. Exhale, knee to shoulder. And send it back. And two more. And back. And one more, exhale forward, pausing at the top, take one more inhale. Whoo, knee to nose, and put all the way between your hands. Now, on your fingertips, send the heart forward, soft bend through your back knee, bring the arms all the way up. Now find that nice big wrap and reach, belly lifts, engage through the core. You need to you bring that right knee all the way down to the mat, otherwise broaden. As you exhale, you take the twist, rotate all the way to the left. Keep hopping the left hip back. I'm trying not to reach forward. I want you to keep reaching out the back arm, using the core. Engage here and ground it into the legs. Take another round. And exhale. One more inhale. As you exhale, take your gaze forward. Reach up and shift the hands all the way down to the top of your mat. Bend your back knee. Hop those toes all the way together at the top. Inhale, halfway. Exhale. Hands to heart, bend your knees, chair. Shift your hips back, broaden through your collar, belly lifts. Take your right tricep, shift it all the way across your left thigh. Now try not to let that right knee come forward. Keep hugging the hip back, keep your knees even. And then press into the thigh. Take your twist. Heart to the front, shoulders soft. Take another inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. You got this, holding on, exhale. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, release. Inhale, back. Either vinyasa or downward facing dog. And again, feel free to take a moment to settle into a child's pose. In fact, let's all take a deep inhale. Let it go. Dropping your knees. Take those toes together. 
and hip those hips back. Take a child's pose. Ooh, it's desert. He is getting to me. If you need a sip, grab it. If you need a towel, grab it. Otherwise, just take a moment, allow the breath to slow down. Now, from here, as you inhale, no rush. If you need more time here, you hang out here, take a moment. If you're ready, go and shift back into it, planting your palms, go ahead and tuck your toes and hips up and back. Now we're gonna add on, I'll get to this one. We're gonna take our right knee though, to the left shoulder this time, three times, to get that twist in there. Inhale right up to the sky, exhale, take it across to the left, and sending it back. And two more, exhale across, and back. One more, bring it across, pausing for breath here, and then bringing your knee all the way toward your nose, step your foot between your hands. Now, same setup, right door, press and pose. As you inhale, reach your foot forward, and send up, and overhead. For a moment, hands to heart, warrior two. I've already been in that warrior two, head of there again, though. bringing that left ankle just about in front of uh, that left big toe. Send the inner thigh forward and extend, pressing your palms down. Now draw the belly up as you exhale. Feel free to take forearm to thigh. Now that might be enough, stay there. If you have a block, a water bottle, anything you want to place to the inside, you can bring it down onto a prop or take that hand all the way down. Towards man. Now, just for a few breaths, a connection with the arm and thigh, a broadening along the collarbones, hip bones lifted, and hugging that right hip back. Your next inhale, bringing up pause, belly lifted, flipping your front palm, take it back reverse, soften your shoulder, soften through your jaw. One more inhale, and exhale. Inhale, reach all the way up. Ooh, and extend that front leg to straight. Turn all 10 toes towards the left side of your mat. I'm gonna turn sideways just a bit more. Parallel, belly drawn in, tailbone down, hands to heart. Now a soft micro bend through those knees. Engage your quads, broaden, and as you exhale, I'm gonna take it halfway down, pause, it's a nice stretch into those hamstrings. Draw that belly in, and your next exhale, feel free to release the hands, let the head drop all the way down towards the mat. Now again, feel free to use a chair, a couch, anything to help prop you up. And try to see if you can get the shoulders away from your ears. Take another inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Bring yourself halfway up. So can you come onto the fingertips? Now here for maybe a block, a water bottle, a chair, something in front of you might be a little useful. You can, whatever you have in front of you, you want to bring it as close to under your chest as possible. Now hugging both outer hips in. Draw your belly in. As you inhale, can you take that right arm up to the sky? Woo! Show something there. Two more rounds of breath here. One more inhale. And then as you exhale, gently release your hand. Pause. Whatever you have as a prop, as a block, set it out of the way. Now setting the heart pull, can you come on the fingertips? Take an inhale. Can you bring an exhale, hands to hips without that heart moving? Soft bend through the knees. Engage the quad as you inhale, bring it all the way up. Whew, standing tall. Bend your right knee, shift right toes forward, left toes up, warrior two. Pausing here for breath, press the palms down, draw that belly in, take one more inhale. As you exhale, windmill your hands, now look forward to the top of your mat. Right foot opens just a bit, shift that heart forward, bring your left leg all the way up, take a standing split. Now, feel free to keep a soft bend through the right knee, let the jaw release, and soften. Now, as you exhale, bring your left knee in toward your chest. Now, fun little balance challenge here. I want you to shift forward. Again, if you need a chair, you need a block, go for it. As we bring ourselves up, bring that knee with us. Yes. From there, take your ankle across your thigh. Little flex into your left ankle. And then send those hips back, pausing here. Now, that lift through the belly. A softening to the shoulders. Hands to the back of a chair, a couch, anything that you might need. Taking two more rounds of breath here. One more inhale. And exhale. Inhale brings you up. And exhale, gently release. Draw those shoulders down with the heart. Take a deep inhale. 
Out your mouth, let it go. Your choice, vinyasa, or straight back to down dog. When you're ready, you'll meet me in that down dog. Inhale, close. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, halfway. And plant your palms, either vinyasa, child's pose, down dog. If you need a sip, take it. And when you're ready, all the way up and back. Now three rounds to start, left knee, right knee. When you're ready, inhale, left leg close. Exhale, bring it across. And send it back. And two more, exhale, across. And back. And one more, exhale, across. Pausing here, taking a breath. And then bring your knee all the way to your nose. Whoo, all the way up to your hands. Send that heart forward, shoulders soft. Bring the arms all the way up. Nice leg. And look, now we know we got a bit of a sequence we're headed into here. Nice advantage of the second side. You know what's coming. Tailbone down. So make it even stronger, even more present. Connect with your breath as you adjust into warrior two. Find that extension. Now send the inner thigh forward. Press the back heel down. Soften through the shoulders. And as you exhale, take your time. You're more than welcome to stay here. Form the thigh. Shoulders soft. Find the broad. You send that inner thigh forward. Again, maybe a block. Maybe hand all the way down to the mat and find that lift. It's about the space that you can create on the chest. Even if you're here, this is perfect. But that growing length across the chest. Now your next inhale, take your time. Bring it up, keep that nice bend. Flip the front palm, draw the belly up. As you take it into the side waist. Take another inhale. And exhale. Inhale, reach all the way up. And extend that front leg straight. Awesome. All ten toes turn towards the right side of your mat. Right your sideways. Now, if you want to get a little deeper into the shoulders this time, feel free to interlace behind your back. If it was good at the hips, keep it at the hips and drop your hand to the mat. Otherwise, inhale to lift and lengthen. Soft bend. As you exhale, we're going straight into the fold. Let the head drop down. Let the knuckles reach forward. Now, can you get the shoulder blades to lift up away from the ears for the next days long? Then maybe the knuckles reach forward. Hugging the outer hips in, drawing the inner thighs back. And then as you exhale, releasing your hand, come all the way up onto your fingertips, reach the heart forward. Now drawing the belly in. A block, a prop, something with just a little bit more height. Again, if that works better for you, go ahead and grab it and use it. Even a water bottle or a chair. Draw the belly in. Send the heart forward, hand to hip, take an inhale. And exhale, begin to open up that left arm towards the ceiling. Now try not to shift all your weight to your front, to your left. Keep pressing into that right foot and feel that twist from that mid back. That open, that expansiveness across the chest. One more. In. And then as you exhale, come halfway down. So just under the fingertips. Can you keep reaching the heart forward? Take an inhale. As you exhale, just take the hands. Woo! Take an inhale. Strong core. Exhale. Inhale, bring you all the way up. Awesome. Take those left toes forward. Right toes up, warrior two. One more round here. Pressing those palms down. Soft into the shoulders. One more inhale. Now looking forward as you exhale, window the hands to the top of your mat. Back inner thigh reaches up. As you slowly float that back leg up off the mat. Now keep that heart forward. And then allow the neck. Drop down towards the mat, or the crown of the head, I should say, to drop down towards the mat. Now, as you exhale, bring your knee to your nose. Now, shift your gaze forward. Take your time. Engage with the core. Already setting into balance, because it's a big shift from having your head way down there and sitting the splits to now upright over the hips. So, drawing the belly in, right ankle across, and then down, shift the hips back, broaden through the collarbones. Now finding that nice lift through the center and a nice stretch into that right bum. Two more rounds of breath here. And on your next inhale, take your time. Silly lift. Bring those toes together. Let's go ahead and stand tall. Take a deep inhale where you are. Out the mouth, let it go. In, float your arms up and overhead. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, halfway. Plant your palm either into your vinyasa or straight back to your downward facing bone. Again, yogi's choice. 
as you take that lift, shift it up and back, pause in here, take a deep inhale, and out your mouth, let it go, dropping the knees down, twist together, shift those hips back, awesome work young yogis, take a moment, and settle into a child's pose, let the head drop down, and letting your body absorb for a moment, what just happened, Two more rounds of breath here. And then go ahead and take your time, bring yourself back up. And let's go ahead and shift those legs forward, out in front. Now, we still have a few more rounds of standing poses that we're gonna get ourselves into. But before we get there, just a little fire in the core. With a little twist, but starting with our boat pose. So remember options as we go. Always feel free to keep those hands on the thighs. You can even adjust and take hands behind you to lower and lift as we get into that. Of course, for the most intensity, you're going to want to reach those arms straight out in front of you. So you're going to go five rounds to lower and lift. If you need to just hold here, stay right here. Draw that belly in. Take an inhale. If available, exhale lower halfway. Inhale up. And four more. And up. And three. And up. And two. And up. And one more. And up. Now, from here, I want your knees. I'm going to turn straight onto the camera. Knees to go to the left, arms to go to the right. Then we meet at center and switch. Take an inhale. Exhale, knees to the left, arms to the right. Inhale, center. And exhale, switch. Inhale, center. And switch. And center. And switch. And center. And switch. And center. And switch. And center. Ooh, switch. And center, one more round each side. Switch. Center, last one. And center, pause, take an inhale. And exhale, release, go and take hold of those thighs. Sit nice and tall, draw those shoulders away from your ears. And as you exhale, draw that belly in, chin to chest. Woo. And go ahead and cross at your shins. Now, your choice. If it feels right for vinyasa, I want you to go for it. Otherwise, just meet me right back in a downward facing dog. Now, our last few rounds here of our standing poses. Coming up on your toes and forward. Exhale, bend. Nice, like step or hop. Bring it on. Exhale, fall. Arms over head, stand. And hands to heart. Now, keep your right foot forward. We're gonna go ahead and step our left foot back. And as you step your left foot back, it's only about three feet, but as I face straight, I have to remember we're in one line. Open that right foot a little bit more to the side so you can hug that right hip back. I try to face to the diagonal so you can see more of my body. So I don't just stay dead on, but just know the feet are slightly more separate on separate train tracks. Draw the belly in, soft bend through that front knee. Now draw the shoulders away from your ears. Take an inhale, reach that heart up. And as you exhale, I want you to lower halfway down. So we're trying to get the torso to be about parallel with the mat. Now try not to lock into this front knee. Engage the quad and draw that kneecap up. So we should be getting a nice stretch into this right hamstring here. Now keep reaching the heart forward. Keep drawing those shoulders away from your ears. Taking one more inhale. Now, as you exhale, gently release your hands and go into the fold. Releasing to the back and a nice stretch through that right hamstring. If you need to bend that front knee, go for it. If you need to have hands on a chair or again, if you have like a little prop, a block that you can use, do that as well. If those hands are not making their way to the floor comfortably, soften through your jaw, soften through your neck. And then from here, I want you to. Now set the hands all the way to the mat and make your way all the way into a lunge. Now we're setting up for our final balance here on our right side, which is gonna be our warrior three. So now that front knee's bent, we're in our lunge. Heart is reaching forward, can you take those arms up? Now your choice, you can take the hands back to a chair, to a prop, whatever works best for you. Otherwise, begin to shift that heart forward all the way into warrior three, drawing the belly in, drawing the ribs in. Now yoga's choice with the arms, I like them along my hips, but you're more than welcome to bring them to heart center or reach them forward without locking out that right knee. Taking another round of breath here, still working through that back leg, squaring up the hips on your next inhale. 
Take your time. Ooh, slowly bring it up and stand. Shoulders soft, deep inhale. Let it go. All right, second side, last round. Step your right foot back. Now about three feet. Now we wanna make sure that back heel is planted into the mat. So it is grounding you into that back leg and you're hugging that left hip back, lifting up through the center. Now soft bend through the front knee, soften through your shoulders. As you exhale, take the heart forward, full halfway. Now pausing here, can you keep lifting in and up, hugging that left hip back. Keep reaching up forward, soften the shoulders from the ears. Two more breaths here, inhale. And exhale. One more, inhale. And then from here, take your time, exhale. Release, now just take a moment. Again, a stretch through the back of the leg if you need. You can bend the knee a little bit, or bring your hands up onto a chair, something that's a little bit higher. Hugging left hip back, taking two more rounds. One more inhale. And then as you exhale, step your right foot back. Pause here. Send the heart forward. Our final balance, and then we're down on that stretch. Draw those shoulders from the ears. Hug the hip back now. As you float those arms up, fire through the core. Use the center. Ground it through the legs as you exhale, shift forward. Now that back leg is not dead weight. It is powered up. Don't forget about that back leg reaching that heart forward. Drawing into the center, maybe hands to heart. Maybe arms forward. Again, wherever it works for you. Taking two more breaths here. Square it off that pelvis. And on your next inhale, take your time. Slowly begin to lift. Whoo, hands to heart. Soften the shoulders. Close the eyes. Take a deep inhale. Let it go. Headed into our final vinyasa. So either vinyasa, maybe back in down dog or child's pose. Yogi's choice. Inhale. Up. And exhale, soft bend and reach. Inhale, halfway. Plant your palms, either one last vinyasa or straight back to your downward facing dog. And up and back. Alright, let's go ahead and step that left forward. Step into the outside of that right hand and bring that left knee all the way to the mat. Pausing here for a moment. Now, we want that foot to the outside here. Again, this might be enough as you draw that belly in. Some of my friends might lower a little bit more onto the forearms. If you want just one last bit of heat with that back leg and to tuck the back toes, you can even lift that back knee off the mat. Now we're trying not to tuck and over around the upper back. You can keep lifting and broadening. Now remember, even if you're here, this is fine too. Draw that belly in and go where it works for you. One more round of breath. And then if you do have the knee lifted, gently release. Now again, this might be enough stretch for you, so you're more than welcome to stay here. Feel free to adjust back to the hands if you'd like. And have a little twist to it. So you can take the right hand to the thigh, gently rotate, open up that right shoulder. Whew. If that's enough, stay. If available, you want to reach back for that left foot. Maybe take hold of that foot, that ankle, and go just a little bit deeper. Now careful with your knees, and don't just push the belly in and release those hips. Can you draw the belly in? Send the tail One more round of breath here. And as you exhale, if you have your foot, gently release it. Planting your palms. Step all the way back, downward facing dog. And left foot steps to the outside of that left hand. Pausing here, and then go ahead and take a moment, drop your back knee. Now, lifting the hip bones up so that we're still engaged through that center and then reaching your heart forward. Stay here. You can lower down a little bit more. And again, just depending on you, if you did lift that back foot, back knee on the other side, I'd recommend matching it. Whatever you did to the other side, go ahead and do the same here, just to keep it nice and balanced. Just that last bit, the breath flowing. One more round of breath. If you did lift the back knee, feel free to drop and feel free to take your time. Walking your hands up, now going just a little bit deeper. This is enough for the hips, stay. If you want a little bit more rotation, and you want to press on that left thigh as you exhale, open up that left shoulder. If you want just a little bit more through that right quad, reach back, take hold of that right foot. Ooh. Reach the heart towards the top of the mat, shoulders away from the ears. Hmm. 
Taking one more inhale here. And as you exhale, if you do have the back foot, gently release. Plant your palms last time. Going to spread those fingers. Hips up and back down. We're facing dog. Take a deep inhale. Out your mouth, let it go. Coming on your toes, look forward. Step, hop, jump, skip. Probably want to bring those hips all the way down onto the mat and go ahead and send those legs out in front of you. Again, sit nice and tall. If you need that sip, if you need that towel, you grab it. Now, we're gonna go ahead and take our right foot, bend it on in. Nice flex through your left foot, and go ahead and take your right foot, bring it all the way across. Now keep reaching that left heel out, right hand back and behind you, inhale it up, take hold of that right knee, hug it in. As you exhale, nice little twist to the right. To the right. You can stay here at core, take that arm all the way across the thigh. Inhale, gentle lift. And on your next inhale, go and bring yourself back to center. Now take your right foot. I want you to bring it to the inside of your left thigh. Janish Sasana. Now you can use your towel, anything to make the arms a little bit longer. You're gonna reach up, wrap the triceps forward. As you exhale, take the fold. Now, or reaching for the foot ideally. If the hands don't get there, no worries. Lower down to the mat, lower down to the shin. Let the arms drop. But I want you to take a little in, a little lift as those shoulders soften, and then as you exhale, just a gentle release. And again, one more little inhale. A little lift, shoulders soften the ears. Keep pulling that heart forward, exhale, release. And your next inhale, taking your time, bring yourself and walk the hands up and then go and take your right knee, extend it, bring it up. And then reaching your right leg out, extend that right leg forward. Now bend your left, go ahead and take your foot all the way across your thigh, Ooh, second side. Now keep this leg active, the right leg, press the heel forward, flex the toes, left hand behind you. Sit as tall as you can from the side, you want to try sinking into the lower back, lifting up, even if you need to be on a blanket or a pillow, and then go ahead and take hold of that right knee and a little rotation. Draw that left shoulder back. Now again, that might be enough for some of us. Perfect, stay there. We want just a little bit more. Cross the thigh as you exhale. Continue to rotate. Inhale, find a little lift and lengthen the spine. Exhale, left shoulder drop back. One more round here. Bringing yourself all the way back to center. Now take your left foot, bring it to the inside. And then from here, shifting up nice and tall, floating those arms up, wrapping those triceps forward as you exhale, begin to fold wherever the hands go, towards the foot, towards the mat. Take a little inhale, soften through the shoulder. Can you keep pulling the heart forward as you exhale? And one more inhale, soften your jaw, soften your neck, and exhale, fold. Two more breaths. And as you inhale, take your time. Bring yourself up. Oh, go ahead and bring that left knee up. Two more forward folds. Go and take the skin of your bum. Just gently lift the skin up. Hugging the toes together. Press your heels forward. Inhale, float. As you exhale, begin to reach. Now again, use a towel. Use a strap. Hands on feet. Hands on mat. Go where it works. Inhale, take a little lift. Draw the shoulders away from your ears. Pull that arm forward. Exhale the fold. One more here. Inhale, reaching the heart forward. Shoulders soft. And exhale forward. Two more. And as you inhale, begin to bring yourself up. Go ahead and bend your knees out to the side. Soles of the feet together. Five. Okay. Now, they don't need to be super close to you. You can keep the feet out a little wider. Uh, again, depending on your hips, sitting as tall as you can. Lift you that heart. Now, same idea. As you exhale, keep broadening the collarbones. I personally like to keep holding on to my toes. I 
think that feels a little bit better. But if it feels better for you to walk the hands out, go for that walk. Now exhale. Once you get to that max, feel free to gently release the chin, release the jaw. And as you inhale, take your time. Go and bring your knees up. Let's go and make our way onto our back for our last round here. We're gonna go ahead and bring those feet forward. Go ahead and feel free to take hold of your thighs. As you exhale, gently lower. Now planting all 10 toes into the mat, reach them forward towards the top. Take those fingers and just brushing the back of the heels with your fingertips as you exhale. Go ahead and send your hips up. Now once those hips are lifted, your chin is still reaching up to the sky, your tailbone is reaching towards your knees, your hip bones are drawn up, inner thighs wrapping down. Can you take the fingers and interlace behind your back gently? Walk the shoulders just a little bit closer, maybe lift the hips a little higher. Soften through your glutes, engage your hamstrings, back to your thighs. Two more breaths. One more inhale. And as you exhale, go ahead and gently release, sending the hips down towards the mat. Go ahead and bring your knees in towards your chest, give them a little hug. A little rock side to side. Keeping your right knee into your chest, go ahead and send your left leg forward. And as you exhale, go ahead and take your twist. Shifting your hips slightly to the right, let your knee fall all the way to the left, pressing your right shoulder down. Slowing your breath down, take another inhale, and exhale, and bringing your right knee back to your chest, go ahead and hug your left knee in, switching sides, right leg forward, as you exhale, center knee across your body, gently pressing your left shoulder down onto the mat, broadening through your collarbones, length through your spine. And as you inhale, bring your knee back to your chest. And from here, go ahead and hug your right knee in. Shoulders soft. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, gently lift your forehead, pausing at the top of our breath. Take one more inhale. And your next exhale, gently release everything out onto the mat. So settling into our final pose, allow the body to a comfortable spot, adjust, wiggle, move. Once you begin to find stillness, take a nice, comfortable inhale here. And allowing your body a moment to surrender, just being in your Shavasana pose for the next few moments or so, finding stillness. Gently begin to deepen your breath. And bringing movement back to your fingers, back to your toes. Feel free to reach your arms over your head. Take a nice long stretch through your body. And bending your knees when you're ready, begin to roll to your side, allow your breath to deepen. And your next exhale, pressing yourself all the way up to a seated position, crossing at your shins, and feel free to keep the face soft, eyes closed, and on the thighs, bring your hands to heart center. 
as you sit tall, stacking the spine, lifting the heart, softening your shoulders. Settle into your space, into your body. Closing with three, take a deep inhale. And deep breath in. And release. One more deep breath in. And release. Still into your practice, your work, your effort, your focus. Namaste. Thank you, yogis, for joining me this Monday. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm back again on Friday at 9 a.m. And we're going to add on these twists. So we'll keep going with the twist. We're going to add on some more poses. So hopefully you'll be back then. Have a great rest of your Monday and a great rest of your week.